Why, hello, friends. Hello. So today's adventure brings us back, finally, to Universal Studios Hollywood. That's right, the tram tour, or the, the glam tour, I guess you could glam say. Glam tour. Is celebrating 60 years. 60 year anniversary, that's amazing. And we hear Universal Studios Hollywood has glammed up the tour a little bit. It has. That's right, and we are here for the team member preview. That's right, I am a team member. So I've been here a lot, but my mom has not been here for a very long time. Yeah. Particularly on the tram tour, which is now the glam tour. We're so excited for this preview. We're gonna get the chance to see the, the new changes to the tour before anybody else. <laughs> maybe we'll see Norman Bates, a couple photo ops, maybe some more friends, who knows what we'll see. Even though I'm a team member, I'm not entirely sure to be honest, but we are about to find out. Not only that, in honor of the 60th anniversary, Universal Studios Hollywood has a new popcorn bucket, some new, a very cute merch for sure, and even a couple of snacks and uh, food items that you can purchase in honor of the 60th anniversary and the glam tour. And I'll, be, I'll never get tired of saying that, glam tour. Glam tour. <laughs> Not sure if we're gonna go shopping today or get a lot of food, but we'll definitely show you guys a couple of clips of it. Our goal in mind today is the tour and the changes, and we could not be more excited. That being said, we had better get going, so follow us along, why don't you, to Universal Studios Hollywood and the 60th anniversary glam tour. Here we go. here pretty soon you all hello 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 you all and welcome to the universal studios tour and welcome aboard our 60th anniversary studio tour glamour tram my name is Roy, i'll be your tour guide and then we have our amazing driver louise here with us you all we have a lot of really fun surprises for you all today so i really hope you're excited we're going to be hitting the road here pretty soon i want to make sure everyone has those 3d glasses you all do you have your 3d glasses great because you're going to need those bad boys for a couple parts of our tour here today all right you all so welcome to the universal timeline on March 15, 1915, our founder, Carl Lindley, invited the public into the studio to watch silent movies being made. Guests could walk from set to set and marvel at the new technology for the first of our red and white candy striped glamour trams. Took 67 passengers on a two-hour driving tour of the Universal lot and the world-famous studio tour was born. We started with two drivers, two guides, and one ticket seller working out of a fantastic, one-of-a-kind Hollywood, Hollywood trailer on Lancashire Boulevard. From there, the studio tour expanded with one-of-a-kind Hollywood elements like the rock slide and the burning house, which were in this area in the lot back in the 1970s and 80s. And that burning house was actually where the fire station is right now, Fire Station 51. Universal City needs a real fire station because Universal City is in fact a real city. And on your left, you're, as we're making our way, you're seeing more of our sound stages over there, Sound Stage 14. Here to tell us more, here's our 60th anniversary guest from the Peacock series, Bel Air, Jabari Banks and Ollie Sholatin. We're leaving the theme park behind and entering the front lot where real Hollywood magic is made. Now, we're going to stop the sound stages that surround us. We can create a theme kind of environment for Scripps the Name. For the past 60 years, studio tour visitors have driven right by these buildings. And inside these walls, the sets from your favorite TV shows and movies have transported audiences anywhere the imagination could take you. Even to a palatial mansion in Bel Air. When we film Bel Air, we love coming out of the sound stages and seeing the trams filled with excited guests as they drive by. So, uh... Keep an eye out. You never know who or what you'll see on the studio tour. 
with Superstore. They could have went to any grocery store across the country and built their own Superstore, but they decided it was actually a lot easier to build their own right here on our lot. Because in these sound stages, you can really cater the space to your production needs. You get to create any environment you need to for your production right here inside of these sound stages. But all right, you all, are you ready for our first celebrity sighting? Get ready. He's a little shy. As we make our way over to your left, you'll see him. It's Ted. He's toasting us because Ted has his own show streaming right now on Peacock. Cheers, Ted. Hi, everyone. Seth McFarland here, and I'm excited to share with you a behind-the-scenes look at my Peacock original event series, Ted. It's a prequel series set in 1993, and that means our skilled craftspeople had to build a high school, a house, and even recreate downtown Boston as it looked back in the day. To your left here, you'll see the 5195 building. And on the building there, you'll get a look at that silhouette. That silhouette belongs to Alfred Hitchcock because that was his very own bungalow. Alfred Hitchcock is one of the most prolific filmmakers of his day. He's given us films like The Birds, Vertigo, and of course Psycho, which filmed right here on our lot. I'd like to tell you about Universal Studios Tour. They have sets, stuntmen, action. Special events. Stars. Entering our bathtub. This is known as Colonial Street. You do meet the strangest people on the tour. But right now we are entering Hill Valley from the Back to the Future film, starring Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, and Leah Thompson. This is Courthouse Square, and oh my gosh, look, it's Doc Brown right there with the time machine. Hi, Doc. That clock tower is where Doc harnessed the bolt of lightning that sent Marty McFly into the future. Well, we should have disturbed the space-time continuum for too long, so let's say goodbye for right now. Courthouse, there's, Courthouse Square still has many buildings that were built in the 1940s. The rest of our metro sets are considerably newer, redesigned, and rebuilt in 2008. Before that, this area was home to a studio tour classic. Here to tell you about it, one of the stars of Universe's 2005 version of King Kong, Jack Black. And so back. Did you know the Metro sets were once the home to Hollywood's biggest star? Right here is where the original studio tour King Kong attraction resided from 1986 until 2008. He really put a lot of thought into the character and personality of Kong, and he's so much more than a monster. In fact, he's not a monster. You know, he is an incredibly majestic, ancient. you all saw that gyrosphere from Jurassic World back there. Dinosaurs are in our DNA here at Universal, and they've been a part of the tour for three decades. We hardly have room in the paddock for our expanding collection. Look, we have a T-Rex, just in time for our 60th anniversary. I'm excited to tell you that the new era of the franchise will begin on July 2nd, 2025 with Jurassic World 4. As we enter into the Jurassic Forest, here's Chris Pratt to tell us about this location. So for many years, this part of the studio tour was the greens department, where we keep real plants and trees that could be used as set dressings for TV shows and movies. Nowadays, it's where you can see many of the set pieces used in the Jurassic films, including some plants and trees, except these are Just like the dinosaur crap. At least... I don't... 
think the dinosaurs are real. Actually, there might be a few real ones around here, so just be on the lookout. Uh oh. <laughs> Jurassic Park is one of the highest grossing films of all time. And Jurassic World, starring Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, is Universal Studios' highest grossing film, earning over $1 billion at the box office. We are now heading into a classic attraction here on the back lot. And you tell about it is today's show co-host and weather anchor, Al Roker. Welcome to the only part of the back lot with a 100% chance of rain. The flash flood. All right, we got our thunder, we got our lightnings. All we need is a little bit of rain, excuse me. Hey, you guys out there, can I get some rain, please? Thank you. Now, if you're trying to capture the rain on your phone, it may be a little hard to show up. In the movies, even, they have to use a special lighting. They like the rain on both ends, so it comes out properly on camera. It looks like we got a flash flood. They should have told you if you're sitting in a blue seat today, you might get wet today. Check the seats. Oh, oh right there, all blue. Sorry about that. Check out Flash Flood in action right here in this clip from Big Fat Liar. 2024 also marks the 70th anniversary of the 3D classic creature from the Black Lagoon, which filmed here in our Hollywood ocean. It's part of our legacy of horror films and monster movies that stretches from Dracula in 1931 to the upcoming Dark Universe at Universal Epic Universe opening next year in Orlando. Now we are entering Little Europe where it all began. Now, some of you may know Little Europe to be Genovia from Princess Diaries 2, starring Anne Hathaway and Julie Andrews. And Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella has also filmed here, starring Brandy and Whitney Houston. But more recently, you may know Little Europe to be The Good Place. You and Eleanor Shellstrom are dead. Cool. This location, the afterlife, I've never ever seen this. You're in The Good Place. I'm not supposed to be here. Going to the bad place. Maybe it's not all that bad. And over to you right there, that open space there is called the Court of Miracles. Going back to those monster movies, it was the home to so many of those films. The set has just been decorated for a highly anticipated production. It's Hollywood's only two-level soundstage. So yeah, you all, like I said, they redesigned this entire thing to make it so much more modern. Check out the details. So the first floor is decorated like a subway station. And this is a hot set, meaning it's completely decorated, locked for picture, and it's ready for the direction to call action. Check out those props over there. So it looks like they're filming something. It's Oh, it looks like it's set in San Francisco, you all. This is cool. Vanity Island, you know, um, we're going to be making our way over there right now, you all. So, um, but I do have to tell you all one quick thing. There is a killer shark that's been on the loose out there, but don't worry. My buddy George, he's been out there checking up on things, and uh, we're just going to check up on him and make sure he's doing all right. Vanity was a popular New England resort town until they were terrorized by a great white shark. But Mayor Ron wants you to know that these beaches are perfectly safe and they will be open for the summer season. He told me to remind you that Amity means friendship. Oh, oh look, there's George. George? Uh, 
Okay, you all, uh, we have to go hide somewhere now. I don't know where this shark is, but it's on the loose. Uh, ooh, I have an idea. Let's hide behind these barrels of flammable gasoline. That one did not really work out so well. Here's Steven Spielberg to tell you a bit more about that. He got some money from the line shark. The shark was frustrated. It didn't really work all the time. It didn't work hardly at all. Wherever you were on the island, you could hear the radio waves. They were always saying, ah, the shark is not working. Repeat, ah, the shark is not working. We just waited around. We just waited and waited and waited. The sharks were well enough for a while. So I really owe the shark a lot. Down there to your left was Elm Street filming for Key and Peele. The mini project that never have I ever been done. And then over here to your right, you'll get a look at our chicken ranch from the best little whorehouse in Texas, starring Dolly Parton. But she's so good, we'll always love you. Quantum Leap has also filmed here for the Halloween episode. They've been filming on the inside and outside of that house, making that a practical set. Check out that facade right behind it. That's just for exterior use only. And we are now turning on to our Colonial Street. And if we have any Desperate Housewives fans aboard today, welcome to Mysteria Lane. Spielberg Drive, we find one of the largest exterior sets from his hit film, War of the World, starring Tom Cruise. Airplane press site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around a vision. You put together, you sit down to talk about the world of the world. That thought, what if it's done for a jungle and you like a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing great. You're doing great. It took him about four and a half weeks to build up this entire crash site scene only for it to get about four minutes of screen time in the film, believe it or not. And yes, you all, that is a real 747 airplane right there. Now, as we make our way on your right, you'll see a set that has been a highlight since the original 1964 studio tour. That is the home of Norman Bates from Albert Hitchcock's Psycho. <laughs> Then as we make our way, you'll see the official scale replica of LA's most iconic landmark, the Hollywood sign. And while we are commemorating our 60th, the Hollywood sign has been commemorating its centennial year. For the past few decades of the studio tour, one of our hallmarks was a visit to the prop plaza where guests disembark for once-in-a-lifetime photos and to interact with characters, vehicles, and props from their favorite productions. Well, guess what? Just for the 60th anniversary, we have brought that opportunity back. Now, remember you all, this is a limited stop. When you are ready to continue your tour, simply follow the signs. You'll be boarding a different tram with the brand new studio guide. So remember to gather all your personal belongings and your 3D glasses. You'll need them when we resume the tour. As you disembark, please walk toward the front of the tram and have fun. Looks like there's a couple of photo ops here, so we're gonna get some photos. So here's the first photo op, or one of them, there's two chairs and this lovely glam tour. 
So we're gonna take a couple of photos. There's a long line, so we don't want to take too long, but this is really cool. Uh, hi, Norman again. How's it going? Oh, it's, it's still going all busy. right. Oh, busy. wonderful. I'm a little at a disadvantage. You know me, but I don't know your name. Uh, I'm Lindsay. This is my mom, Joni. Uh, I think a mother is very important. She's my best friend. Oh, absolutely, Lindsay. It looks like your, your mother has raised you quite well with good manners as well, respect, and I am hope that you respect my wishes and that I do need to get some work done, of course. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but it certainly is a pleasure meeting the both of you. Hopefully I'll have you have number one ready for you just a uh, Oh, of course, okay. Well, hopefully Norman has a vacancy soon, right? Oh, I do hope. I was looking for number one. Number one? I think oh. there's a jacuzzi in it. Um, I think that's the one he's cleaning right now. I hope there's nothing wrong. Is there a reason there'd be anything wrong in number one? Goodness. Uh, oh, are you cutting the sandwich for us? I thought maybe there was a jacuzzi in there. Oh, I don't think there's a jacuzzi in there, Mom. I, I, I don't. Ah, I, think, uh, oh, oh. I think we're about to meet Mother. We're gonna leave. Yeah, well, um, okay, it was, it was great catching up. This looks like a fun photo spot here. <laughs> Strike a pose. <laughs> okay, we're in a different area, and I just realized that this right here used to be Whoville. Oh, no. This oh. used to be Whoville, everybody. No. It's not Whoville now. It's just cement. That's it. Yeah. Uh, it's good to see they've made better use of this area, though. Oh. Better than a bunch of cars, anyway. There's a couple photo ops. Yeah. There's uh, cars over here and a jaw shark over here. We'll show you guys that in a minute. So this looks like a cute photo location with these cars here. My mom and I are about to get a cute photo. This is right next to the Bates Motel, as you guys can see. Okay, here there we, we go. go. Yay. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, here's another photo off. It's Jaws, mom, go over. I'm gonna take your photo. Oh, of course not. Okay, mom. Kids King Kong, wait. Ah, oh no. <laughs> nice little photo up here. <laughs> so no more Tram-tastic day? Tram-tastic day. <laughs> oh, it's always a Tram-tastic day. I love it. This is Jupiter's Planet. Nostalgic small time Southern yeah, right. California amusement oh, park we'll owned that. by former child star Ricky Jr. Yeah, I mean, uh, Over there, you can continue winter. Have your winter ticket to the Ricky Jr. Park. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. Remember that one? Yeah. Yeah. No? Why? Because it's a little thing that you can see right here. A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. That was definitely a lot of fun so going on the new fun. glam tour. Uh, that was really nice of Universal Studios to do that for the team members. We got to be uh, one of the first people to check out the glam tour. As you guys can see, there's plenty of photo ops. How many? One, two, three, four, five, just quite a lot towards the end. My mom even had a conversation with Norman Bates, right? I did. Very spooky. <laughs> creepy. Yeah, Very creepy. I wonder what he was up to. I don't know, something in room one, who knows. <laughs> who else did we get to see? Doc. Yeah, he was over by the clock tower, right? The clock tower. We also saw a few more dinosaurs. That was kind of interesting, over where the cars are. Yes. There used to be like one or two dinosaurs, but now there's like a whole lot more they've added to it, so that's pretty cool. More teeth. I mean, yeah, that's what you gotta have, more teeth, right? Yeah. 
And apparently there's something new over where they have the earthquake scene at the stages, but uh, there were some technical difficulties. We didn't quite see what's new, but well, I guess that gives us a reason to come back really, really soon. Not only that, we picked up this brand new Woody Woodpecker Universal Studios Glamour Tram Popcorn Bucket. Well, this is really cute. Uh, why don't you pick it up? Let's have a closer look at it, Mom. So there we go. <laughs> and of course, Woody Woodpecker is the tour guide on the tram. And apparently you can put popcorn in this as well. And you can wear it around your neck. Want to demonstrate, Mom? Oh, there we go. The popcorn goes right there. Very nice. Well, Mom, with all of that, what did you like the most about the tour? Oh my gosh, the tour, let me think. So many things, a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. I think the time with Norman, yeah. <laughs> well, conversation pretty, with Norman. Pretty fun, yeah. Of course, it was fun to do all those photo ops as well. And just, yeah, I don't know, we haven't been on the tour for a long time, so it was nice to, it to was. ride it again. Yes, and it looks so glamorous. And the tour, yeah, and the tram is, is so beautiful. and pretty and kind of like retro looking so we love that for sure and we look forward to returning soon and filming more of the 60th anniversary more food more merch perhaps some other universal stuff too like some of the hhn construction and of course super nintendo but for now it is time to go home and feed our cat tippy <laughs> yeah cats gotta eat <laughs> on that note stay safe out there stay awesome and perhaps sometime we will catch you on the Glam Tram Tour. Have a great day, everybody, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye.